What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome in the spirit of Valentine's Day. We are going to be talking about vacations. So I want to start the topic off with the first vacation. Should you go it alone? Should you go with other couples? Or should you bring your single friends with you? I'm going to say if you can find another couple to join you, then do that. That can buffer that um, nervousness you may feel about going on your first trip with your partner alone because you don't know what to expect. Um, if you can't find another couple, do not bring your single friends just because you might find yourself in a cross between am I neglecting my partner, am I neglecting my friends and end up feeling like you're stressed because you can't expand your time across everyone. Um, and then that just makes a mess. Like you don't want that for your vacation. So I would say go it alone, embrace the experience, and just be open-minded to whatever comes. Should you go somewhere domestic or should you go somewhere international? I'm going to say for the first vacation, go somewhere domestic. Even though domestic can still be far away from home, you want to stick to somewhere where, say, the trip did go completely south, you can get home as soon as possible. And it won't be um, something that's going to break the bank. Trying to get out of another country at the very last minute, the drop of a dime is going to cost you. Um, if you are somewhere domestic, it's still going to cost you, but just nowhere near as much. Um, should you do a road trip? Should you do a plane? Or should you do on a cruise? I do not recommend cruises, you guys. That's also international for the first vacation. You are stuck. There's no getting off the boat. Okay? Just saying. Um, plane or road trip, doesn't matter. Uh, you're going to probably either have great conversations and talk the whole time or you're going to have silence. And one thing I will say about silence is don't always think that every silence is awkward because it's not. Sometimes it's just that people are embracing the scenery around them. They're embracing uh, the music that they might be listening to. They're, you know, just kind of taking a break from talking, maybe. You know, if it's that long of a road trip or that long of a flight. And that's okay. Silence doesn't have to be awkward. I'm going to just leave that one at that. Then the next thing would be, where should you go? Well, this depends on the couple. If you're an adventurous couple, I would recommend some kind of cool camping ground. Uh, you could do a, I don't know, rock climbing. Or you could canoe and have a nice little picnic in the boat. Whatever you choose. Um, if you are a couple that enjoys entertainment, maybe somewhere like Las Vegas, they have a lot of shows there. If you are into the arts, um, then maybe someplace like New Orleans or Philly, there's lots of museums and, you know, art museums. There's rich culture and music in New Orleans. Like, there's just so many different places that any couple could go. So in other words, what I'm saying is it's not a universal answer. This is something that just depends on you and your partner. Before you go, you should prep. So I'm going to do a whole other video on prep day and post day because they're really important. The reason why I say to prep is because you don't want to be spending hours on your hair and, you know, all this other kind of girly grooming and not spending time with your partner. That's stuff that can be done beforehand. And you also want to pick a hairstyle that will not require a lot of maintenance throughout your trip. You know what I mean? So, no hour-long sessions of dressing up, you guys. You want to be able to get dressed and get back to enjoying your trip. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. Um, preventative measures, which I think is important. Always, always, always have your own money just in case. Things go left. You do not want to be stuck somewhere with someone where you're not having a good time. You want to have that money just in case you need to get out of there. You can. I don't know how else to stress that, but that's really, 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 really important. Okay? The other thing is do not pick small fights while you're on vacation. Just know that Everything may not go as planned. Everything may not be perfect. And that's okay. I'll share with you guys a quick story and then I'll move on to the next thing. Um, my last vacation, if you will, 
we ended up somewhere uh, the beach inn or whatever it was and the the railings on the stairs had a lot of rust on it and I was like you know okay still trying to embrace it you know and uh, we get there and whew, they had like a strong smoke smell and the AC wasn't working it was 80 degrees and I was like oh my god and I'm in, inside I won't lie to you I was kind of starting to panic but my partner did put in so much time planning the trip that I didn't want to just seem ungrateful. So I was trying to embrace what was going on, what was around me. He did tell me that, you know, we would be able to cook. And I sure enough saw a hot plate, very camping style. So I was like, okay, you know. And then uh, after that, we ended up sit, both sitting on the edge of the bed because the AC wasn't working and we couldn't figure it out. And the whole bed just flipped up. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, had we not gotten up as fast as we did, we would have been on the ground. And at that point, I could have I could have done one of two things. I could have cried or I could have laughed, which is what we both did. We ended up just embracing that this was a mess. And we did end up fixing it. We got a refund from the place. And we ended up staying at a very, very, very nice hotel for only $100 more. So what I'm saying is... Even though things may not be going perfect, just embrace the bumps in the road. And then also remember that everything is going to be a learning experience. Um, you may realize that your partner likes to sleep in and you don't. That's okay. There can be some independence there. If you want to get up and go take a walk or whatever the case may be, explore. Maybe enjoy the, the free breakfast if you have one. Do that. It's fine. Um, you may notice that your partner is very type a likes to go boom 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 you know on the schedule i 10 by 10 and that's okay it's all a learning experience and just embrace it and then for next time you'll know what to expect um and then also remember to compromise so if you know your partner wants barbecue and you want caribbean or whatever the case may be then one night you go here one night you go there one meal you go here one meal you go there don't pick small fights you guys just enjoy yourself it is vacation and by the end of it just know that you're creating memories and vacations can either bring you closer together or it can completely destroy your relationship um strive for growing your relationship though and just if you do the pre preventative measures i think you'll be okay if you guys have any tips that you want to add on comment in the comment section below um if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not done that already and i will see you guys next week that's all i have for you happy valentine's day to you all and yeah see you next week